are watching BNS News. Today's headline: Cardano network faces major problems. Swaps takes 30 minutes. Woman loses 8 million dollars in crypto scam. Bitcoin of America shuts down unlicensed crypto ATMs in Connecticut. Malaysian Securities Regulator orders Huawei to stop operations. North Korean's Leonor of targets Mac OS users with Rust Bucket crypto malware. FBI releases warning about fake crypto job advertisements. Number of Ethers staked has surged by 4.4 million since Chapel upgrade. Gemini reveals Genesis Pay and DCG has missed $630 million loan payment. Hong Kong to open crypto exchange access for retail users. South Korean's ruling party calls for early enforcement to crypto laws. Widely guilted introduces pre-crypto game to Ethereum's IPFS. Bitcoin back at $27,000 at Tron continues to dominate. Cardano, the smart contract platform developed by Charles Hoskinson, is currently facing a significant issue despite Hoskinson's earlier claims that the Cardano network could theoretically handle up to strategic 1 million transactions per second. The reality is turning out to be a quite different user's experience in delays with some swaps on Cardano-based decentralized exchange, taking up to 30 minutes to complete. In a ruling on May 22, Judge Amos dismissed the lawsuits that Gadda Sally has brought forward, in which she claimed the balance aided the scammer steal eight million dollars in a scheme hatched on a Tinder dating app. The Connecticut Department of the Banking released a statement on May 22, indicating that the Bitcoin of America has obtained the necessary license to operate Bitcoin ATM kiosk in the state. Unfortunately, the constant order has enforced after four Connecticut consumers. Reportedly, fell victim to a scam involving the kiosk in the question, collectively losing tens of the thousands of lot. Malaysia Securities Regulator, the Security Commission, has ordered cryptocurrency exchange Huawei to cease all operations in the country. The North Korean link Liu Norov hacking collective has been busy attacking Mac OS users with the malware called Rust Bucket. The malware installs a backdoor PDF feeder. On May 22, the FBI issued a warning saying U.S. citizens and individuals living and traveling abroad should be aware of false job advertisements linked to labor trafficking. According to an ad, victims have been held against their will, intimidated, and forced to commit international cryptocurrency invest fraud schemes. Interest in staking Ether on locking coins in the Ethereum network to earn Passive yield has surged since Ethereum implemented in Chapel or Shanghai Great on April 12. Data tracked by Glassnode show more than 4.4 million coins have been deposited in the staking contracts since April 12, taking the tally to 22.58 million. Cryptocurrency exchange Gemini has revealed the Genesis parent entity DCG has missed a $630 million loan payment that was due to the last week. The exchange added that it is working with the DCG Genesis and other creditors to provide forbearance and help DCG avoid to default. 